Hello, I am going to deliver one lecture on the topic Ispetology, that is the details study on Ispet. In the previous introductory class, I have pointed out that field of concept is also applicable in solid liquid phase. The exploration of this uh, field effect concept in solid liquid phase has given the birth of a new chemical electronic sensor known as ion sensitive field effect transistor. It was first reported by P. Bardwell in 1970 who used this to measure ionic in and in fluxes around the nerve. After this uh, remarkable invention, uh, many authors have in subsequent works cited this work as pioneering work from ispetrology to biophotology. Uh, ispet is generally obtained by replacing the metal electrode of MOSFET by a reference electrode, a chemically sensitive insulating layer in between which presence an electrolyte solution under examination. This reference electrode is connected to the voltage source and this electrolyte closes the source to uh, get circuit. Thus, ISPET is fundamentally similar to MOSFET. That is why, in order to understand the theory of ISPET, a little bit discussion about the MOSFET is required. And as far as MOSFET is concerned, we all know that the most important uh, equation of MOSFET device is the threshold voltage equation given by equation 1. Here, V threshold uh, MOSFET is given by phi m minus phi s si divided by q minus qss plus qox plus qb divided by ci plus twice phi f. That is the whole expression is expressed in volt. Here phi m is the work function of metal expressed in electron volt. Phi si is the um, work function of silicon substrate expressed in electron volt. That is why it is divided by u to get uh, the term in, in terms of voltage. Similar, uh, this QOX is the fixed oxide source, USS is the state surface source, QB is the depletion source. Source divided by capacitance of the insulating layer gives a voltage. This is surface inversion voltage, twice phi f. So, from observation, it is clear that uh, the uh, all terms are purely physical in nature. And as far as uh, uh, MOSFET's current equation is concerned, uh, we all, uh, all know that uh, this characteristic has two re regions. One is non-saturation and other is saturation region and corresponding equation in the both regions are given by equation 2 and equation 3 where beta is a design uh, constant given by mu the mobility of electron uh, this is uh, ci into w by l w is the width of the channel l is the length of the channel it is a design constant so from observation, it is clear that as far as current equation is concerned, beta is constant. VDS, it is kept constant through electronic circuit. V threshold MOSFET in fabrication process around the world is so much well controlled 
that V threshold MOSFET is always constant. Therefore, only input parameter is VGS, get to source voltage. That is why also we can say that uh, actually device is a uh, voltage control device. Or uh, we can say that it is a uh, field effect transistor. That is why since only VGS is the input parameter, therefore uh, IDS versus VGS curve of MOSFET is recorded as a function of VGS as shown here, which is the output characteristic. Uh, here VDS is the output and ID, IDS or ID is the uh, drain current, output current. Uh, all uh, curves have been run as a function of VGS. So when we increase VGS gradually, then slowly current will increase. Now as far as ISFET is concerned, you see that it is uh, so uh, fundamentally uh, a MOSFET device as far as solid side is concerned. So that is why uh, same uh, manufacturing processes used to fabricate uh, ISFET device. However, due to introduction of uh, uh, electrolyte in between reference electrode and insulating layer produces two more potentials. One is a constant reference voltage is generally denoted by E reference. Because as far as reference electrode is concerned, you know that uh, it is a non-polarizable electrode. And other is this sine of plus psi solvent. Psi not plus psi solvent. It is the total 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 potential at the uh, uh, insulator electrolyte interface. Here psi not is the surface potential and psi solvent is the uh, surface dipole potential at the interface uh, having a constant value. This in this way this zainal can be shown as a function of P of the solution which I will show later. Other terms are exactly same as the MOSFET device. So if we proceed like MOSFET, then also we will get uh, these two equations, current equations given by equation 5 and equation 6. <coughs> but one important difference um, between MOSFET and ISFET is this, that in uh, MOSFET uh, uh, only uh, the uh, input variable is uh, VGS, but in ISFET both VGS and VDS are kept constant through biasing. But V threshold can be chemically modified via interfacial potential this zyanol, which is a function of solution PH. It's output characteristic that is IDS versus VDS curve is therefore recorded as a function of PS as shown here. And as usual, as like MOSFET, transfer characteristics also can be drawn or recorded uh, like this. 
uh, get source voltage versus drain source current IDS for different different PS values. Gate dependence very important uh, because it is stated uh, already that uh, SPET is fundamentally MOSFET and as far as MOSFET is concerned it is a uh, gate dependent device so if SPET is also a MOSFET device then it get dependency must be tested say for example if you fabricate one device a sphere device then your first duty is to experimentally verify that it is a get dependent device for that you are supposed to perform one laboratory experiment uh, to record VDS versus IDS curve keeping uh, PS value at a fixed value. So here I have shown uh, at PS equal to 2. Exactly at uh, which PS value is to be considered that you will come to know from its uh, linearity curve. That can also, linearity curve also can be plotted in laboratory. Uh, important as far as uh, research activity is concerned and uh, since uh, basic basically SPET comes from EIS structure which is a, a capacitor system uh, in what way uh, surface search at the in at the interface of uh, liquid and solid phase is changing uh, that the mechanism is supposed to know. Uh, this this uh, vari variation of surface surface uh, can be well explained with the help of one very famous model called side bending model. <coughs> What is this? That according to this uh, theory, this uh, insulating surface has hydroxyl ions that can be protonated or deprotonated depending upon the hydrogen ion concentration in the electrolyte solution. The hydroxyl groups which are present in the uh, insulating surface and uh, those can bind with hydrogen ions uh, and those are called uh, binding sites. As far as its ionization equation is concerned, uh, ionization reactions are given as this. So for example, as and when silicon dioxide suppose in julianine layer, if it comes in contact with the aqueous solution, then it will dissociate like this. Silicon dioxide will be dissociated to Si O minus, which is a negative side, plus H plus, which represents the proton in the vicinity of the uh, insulating surface. Again, this SiOS will combine with hydrogen ion to give another another ion SiOH2 plus, which is positive. Meaning is this that initially neutral insulating surface is now now becomes a surge surface. These uh, hydrogen ions or hydroxyl ions with which surface size binds are called potential determining 
ions. Besides these potential determining ions, the electrolyte solution has cations and anions. These form ion pairs with this positive and oppositely charged uh, surface sites. Say for example, it is uh, cation, it will form a pair with uh, negatively charged uh, surface site. A process which is uh, called surface complex. Similarly, an ion will form a ion pair with positively charged surface sites. And ultimately, actually, uh, whether this surface will be positively charged or negatively charged, that will depend upon the excess uh, number of uh, surface, one type of surface site over the others. Due to this surface complexion process, what will happen? That the this surge will be partially at the surface, surge will be com uh, partially compensated. So, since uh, as per capacity principle, uh, the total surge in the system must be uh, electrically neutral. That, that is why. Uh, this uncompensated uh, surface site uh, will be compensated completely by other mechanism. For that, uh, we have to take the uh, take the help of another one very important theory, guy sapman stern theory. According to that theory, <coughs> two layers are formed. One is called uh, stern inner layer and other is called diffuse layer. Vision. Stern inner layer consists of two planes. One is called uh, inner Helmholtz plane or ISP and other is called outer Helmholtz plane or OSP. ISP is the uh, locus of center of adsorbed ions which form ion pairs with the surface sides. This plane. This uh, an OSP, OSP is the uh, locus of the center of hydrated ions, just closest to the surface. And this diffuse layer is generally extends from OSP and consisting of non specifically uh, hydrated ions which actually balance the uncompensated surface surge in the at the surface which are available after this surface complexion and in this way the surge neutrality is obtained. And uh, referring to the surface potential, I have already told that uh, it can be shown as a function of uh, piece of the solution. And uh, Baudi, with the help of side binding model at the electrolyte insulator interface, uh, combining with uh, the electrical double layer model. He has developed one model for surface potential sign up. We call it Bowsy's model, uh, which is generally used for determination of sensitivity of the device. And you see here this K, the Boltzmann's constant, this is the actually uh, temperature, this is the elementary charge. Beta is the sensitivity parameter of the device which is constant and P is PZC is the point of uh, zero surge. Uh, it is actually related to the insulating surface 
because surface sometimes may become uh, neutral and the value of PS exactly at which it becomes uh, electrically neutral that value is generally called PS, PZC point of zero surge. PS is the solution or uh, PS of the solution, PS is the PS of the solution being measured. Thus, since all are all these are constant, therefore psi dot can be uh, shown as a function of this pH. Is fed biasing, and from from actually from this discussion of what we have learned, uh, that uh, is fed is uh, uh, basically an electronic device. Uh, but compared to MOSFET, it has one additional advantage, a additional feature. Say for example, its threshold voltage can be chemically uh, modified through uh, interfacial potential China, which is a function of pH. That is why uh, before use uh, in laboratory, ring electronic device is first must be bias. So since it is analogous to MOSFET device, that is why uh, conventional technique used for MOSFET device, say for example voltage divider network, feedback network can be conveniently used. But since uh, ISPET is a ion sensing device uh, or ion sensor, uh, that is why uh, this type for biasing generally this type of electronic circuits are not required. What you can do since uh, uh, VGS and VGS uh, are to be kept constant because only input parameter is the PS or threshold voltage of the device. Therefore, uh, uh, just uh, before use, uh, we may fix the value of VGS and VDS in uh, through uh, performing experiment in laboratory. Thank you.